Hey, welcome to a new video. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean and has a depth of 10,994 meters, or 36,070 feet, which is deeper than the height of Mount Everest. It's located in the Western Pacific Ocean and is one of the least explored places on Earth. However, it may surprise you that many creatures live in these dark and frigid waters. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 30. We're at a depth where the sun no longer shines and the darkness is pitch black. One of the fish lurking here is the terrifying rat-tailed fish. With its advantage in appearance, it can detect bioluminescence, which gives it the ability to see in these dark depths. But its ability to hunt doesn't stop there. The rat-tailed fish also relies on smell and taste. It can detect the smell of rotting bait and even detect worm movements in the mud beneath it. But what makes this fish scarier is its excellent ability to survive. The rat-tailed fish can survive in water and salt content of less than 1%, which means it's able to survive in rivers and even lakes. And if you think that you're safe on land, think again. This fish can survive up to three days out of the water and can move on land with the help of its fins. Number 29. It's impossible for a normal diver to dive this deep. In fact, the pressure will increase until it crushes you. Nevertheless, people decide to go to the deepest point of the Mariana Trench by submarine. As we can see, at these depths, it's complete pitch black darkness. Director and ocean explorer James Cameron was the first person to dive to the bottom of the ocean by himself. It took about 70 minutes and he described it as a surreal experience. Since then, several people have been sent to the bottom of the Challenger Deep. The last time was by a woman named Don Wright on July 12, 2022. When you consider that this is at a greater depth than the height of Mount Everest, but then underwater, the world becomes many times scarier. Don't you agree? Number 28. Deep sea fish are often strange and scary to look at, but the barrel eye fish takes the cake. Its transparent head makes it unique and almost unreal to see. But what makes this fish even scarier are its actual eyes. Yep, you heard that right. The two eye-shaped circles above its mouth are actually nostrils, while its eyes are inside its head, giving it a 360-degree view of the deep sea around it. And as if that wasn't enough, the barrel eye fish also has another remarkable feature. It doesn't have a stomach. Instead, it has a long digestive tract that extends into its tail. This means that the fish must grab its prey and swallow it directly before it can escape. Number 27. You might start to think that your fear of sharks is perhaps unfounded. Hippos and mosquitoes claim more lives each year. But if you were to dive into the Marianas Trench and encounter a goblin shark, that would be pretty terrifying. This species of shark lives at a depth of at least 1,300 meters and is rarely seen by humans. The shark can grow up to a length of 22 centimeters and has large eyes that glow in the dark. But that's not the scariest thing about this shark. Its jaw is so flexible that it can eat itself and twist around its prey while eating. This is something that could come straight out of a horror movie, but there's more. The shark's teeth bend inward, meaning that its prey can't escape from its deadly jaws. And on top of that, these sharks are cannibalistic. Scientists have discovered that this small species of shark eats its own kind, making it even more frightening. In short, the goblin shark is not something you want to mess with, and we all hope we never encounter it in real life while swimming. Number 26. If there's volcanoes on other planets like Mars, then it also makes sense that there's volcanoes underwater. The Mariana Trench is home to some strange things, and one of them are violent volcanoes and hydrothermal vents. A nearly 100-foot or 30-meter hydrothermal spring that was bursting with fluid at a high temperature was found in 2016. This allowed a hydrothermal vent to exist underwater, which is a very unlikely event. This area marks a spot where plates collide, causing subduction. Subduction is when an oceanic plate slides under another oceanic plate. Then the magma familiar to us rises, feeding off the active Izubonin Mariana volcanic arc system. And when this unbearingly hot liquid flowed into the nearly frozen waters of the deep sea, a chimney-like effect occurred. The bizarre thing is that crabs, clams, snails, and lobsters can be found in the middle of this phenomenon. Number 25. Let's dive deeper into the dark depths of the Marianas Trench, where we encounter the terrifying deep sea hatchfish. Where we encounter the terrifying deep sea hatchetfish. Although its length of 12 centimeters may seem insignificant, this fish is capable of devouring its prey in no time with its frighteningly sharp teeth. This fish also has tubular eyes that point upward, allowing it to spot its prey even in the dark. 
It's a true predator, waiting for its prey to come close before striking quickly. It also has a unique ability to illuminate its body, allowing it to camouflage in the dark and go unnoticed. This bioluminescent light is produced by luminescent organs along its belly, emitting a bluish-green glow. Additionally, the fish can regulate its body temperature, allowing it to hunt at greater depths where other fish can't survive. So don't underestimate it. It may be small, but it's a terrifying and efficient predator, perfectly adapted to life in the deep sea. Number 24. You may have seen jellyfish before, but did you know that there's a jellyfish living in the Marianas Trench that looks quite terrifying? This is the Benthakodon jellyfish, a creature that has no equals even in the darkest depths of the ocean. It does not have a transparent body like other jellyfish, but is covered with a reddish skin and approximately 1,500 tentacles. These tentacles are not only for hunting, but also for preventing predators from attacking. It's terrifying to think that this creature has been living in the dark, cold waters of the Marianas Trench for millions of years. The jellyfish is so alien that it's even puzzled scientists studying it. The benthacodon is considered a true rarity, because it's only found at deeper depths of 500 to 3,000 meters. Imagine taking a dive in the deep ocean and suddenly being attacked by this monstrous creature. It's not just its appearance that makes it so terrifying, but also the fact that it's adapted perfectly to life in the darkest depths of the ocean. Number 23. Some people say that if Mariana's trench is so deep, it might as well be another galaxy. If you dive deep enough, at some points you'll come to an area called the Forest of the Weird. Scientists describe this place as something straight out of a children's book like Dr. Seuss, or something straight out of SpongeBob SquarePants. However, it was not a human who made the journey down, but a remote-controlled vehicle called the Deep Discoverer. As you can see, the Forest of the Weird is an alien place filled with glass sponges. These are animals found only in the deep ocean and live attached to hard surfaces. They mainly eat small bacteria and plankton that they filter out of the surrounding water. What's even more interesting, besides their creepy appearance, is that they all face to the current in an upright position. Number 22. The zombie worms, or Ossidax, have not earned their name without reason. These creepy creatures literally burrow into bones and feed on the marrow they find there. And as if that weren't creepy enough, they are found in the deepest parts of the ocean, where it's dark and icy, and where there's hardly any food to be found. Here, the zombie worms have evolved into true survivors, keeping themselves alive by eating their surroundings. However, they've also found a unique way to reproduce. These worms don't have sex organs, but are fertilized by male worms that grow inside their bodies. These male worms have no other function, and only serve as donors for the female counterpart. This is not only what makes zombie worms so terrifying, but also intriguingly unique. The idea that such a creepy creature lives in the dark, cold depths of the ocean makes this zombie worm one of the most frightening creatures in the Mariana Trench. Number 21. A normal virus that we have to live with on Earth is annoying in itself. But according to a recent study, a giant virus was found on the sea floor of the Challenger Deep. It had been on Earth from the deepest spot in the Mariana Trench, and this virus is bigger than some bacteria. In fact, this area is said to be so deep that huge sea monsters dare not to go there. Only incredibly small life forms can survive there. The giant virus originated from the sea floor at a depth of 7 miles or 11,000 meters. This was not the first time a virus was found underwater, but it was the first time it was found at such a gigantic depth, and also in abundance, making it even more alarming. Researchers took the found viruses to a team from Shanghai, who determined there were 15 types of viruses and more than 100 types of other microorganisms. Testing revealed that none of the viruses can directly harm humans, but they can cause tissue damage in mammals. Number 19. The frilled shark is a frightening creature that is believed to reside deep in the Marianas Trench. This shark species is named for the many frills that run along its body. It almost looks as if it's covered with combs, but don't be fooled by its eccentric appearance. It's a formidable predator that pounces on its prey and swallows it whole. And that's not all. This shark species is also able to protrude its jaws and enlarge its mouth to be able to devour even larger prey. But what really makes the shark terrifying is its way of swimming. It moves like an eel through the water and can therefore move unexpectedly fast and agile. This makes it a formidable opponent for its prey, but also for potential enemies. Moreover, this shark species is rarely seen, and we don't know much about it or its behavior and habits. In addition to their scary appearance and unique way of swimming, scientists have discovered another interesting fact about these sharks. They have a remarkable ability to hide themselves. They have small skin flaps that look like seaweed, making them blend in with their surroundings and invisible to prey and predators. Number 18. 
The ghost fish is a real fish that is thought to be the deepest living fish in history. It startled some scientists when it appeared on camera at an almost impossible depth of 8,143 meters below the surface of the ocean. The ghost fish is also known as the Mariana snailfish, and it's a true champion of adaptation. It inhabits the darkest and deepest parts of the ocean, where few animals can survive. Its terrifying appearance, with its almost translucent skin and black eyes, seem to have escaped from a horror movie. Its environment is so dark that it seems to wander in an endless darkness. You may notice that the deeper we go, the scarier the fish become. What makes the ghost fish even scarier is that it lives at a depth of where the pressure is 1,000 times greater than that at sea level, and where the water is ice cold. Yet it managed to adapt to those extreme conditions and is one of the few fish that can survive at such a depth. It's fascinating to think that this fish doesn't implode under the enormous pressure of the water. The discovery of the ghost fish has given scientists a lot of information about how deep sea creatures can survive at these depths. Number 17. Some time ago, a sound they named by Otuang was observed in the Mariana Trench. The sound includes frequencies from 38 hertz to 8,000 hertz. Imagine such a synthetic sound thundering through the Mariana Tro. Listen. <laughs> This mysterious sound is yet to be solved by science, but a team working on it think they might have found the answer. However, they could not find a human or geological origin, such as an earthquake or ice. So that leaves one terrifying option, a biological origin. Scientists believe the terrifying sound could come from a new kind of whale or from another unknown sea monster. What animal do you think makes the sound? Let me know in the comments. Number 16. Liopleurodon was a real sea creature that lived about 160 million years ago during the Jurassic period. It was a sea reptile and a member of the plesiosaurs, which, according to scientists, are now extinct. However, scientists have found fossils that indicate they lived in the Marianas Trench. The Liopleurodon was one of the largest plesiosaurs that ever lived, measuring about 8 meters in length and weighing about 2 tons. However, some sources claim it could reach up to 25 meters long. It had large jaws with sharp teeth of about 7 centimeters and could hunt its prey at great speed through the water. Their limbs moved like paddles, and their skulls show that they used their noses to track prey. And since their eyes were pointed upwards, they would attack prey from below. Although according to scientists, the Liopleurodon no longer exists in our time, some people believe that it may still be swimming around in the Marianas Trench, in places we haven't explored yet. Do you believe this, or would the Liopleurodon really be extinct? Number 15. Don't be fooled by the innocent name of this creature. The telescope octopus is one of the most frightening creatures living in the Marianas Trench. It almost seems to come from another world with its elusive and mysterious character. It's a master of camouflage and can change color to blend in with its surroundings. It can also hide itself in small cracks and crevices to escape from predators. But what's most creepy about this creature is its ability to float. While other octopuses crawl on the bottom of the ocean, the telescope octopus drifts in the current, as if it were a ghostly creature floating through the sea. With its long, thin tentacles and eerie appearance, the telescope octopus almost resembles an alien creature from a horror film. Number 14. Megalotocopia hyans, also known as predatory snails, are frightening mantle animals that live in the deepest parts of the Marianas Trench. They have a frightening appearance with their large mouths and strange tentacles. You can also describe them as the Venus flytraps of the sea, as they feed on anything that crosses their path. These monsters can grow up to 30 centimeters long and have a large number of sharp teeth that are meant to hold and crush their prey. They hunt fish, mollusks, and even other predatory snails, which they can quickly and mercilessly overpower. But the most frightening thing about these predators is that they hide in the darkest corners of the ocean, where there's no light or life. They have adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep sea and have become masters in surviving in a world that is uninhabitable for most other creatures. Aren't you glad that they're in the Marianas Trench instead of, for example, in the pond behind your house? Number 13. Hydrothermal springs are not the only ones of their kind in the Mariana Tro. You can also find so-called pillow lava. These are created when the basaltic lava erupts underwater. What happens is as the hydrothermal springs, the cold, almost freezing seawater startles and cools the lava. But this time, the collision of extreme temperatures produces a crust that resembles a pillow. The new lava pushes through the crust, which can then form scratches on the cushions, called striations. However, there's still much info to study about the deep-sea volcanoes. One interesting fact is that when a volcano erupts underwater, the explosion means we can't hear and see it as we can on land. Number 12. 
The Melanocetus, better known as the Black Sea Devil Fish, is a scary and terrifying creature that belongs in the depths of hell. The Sea Devil Fish lives in the deepest part of the ocean, where no sunlight penetrates and the pressure is unbearable for most other sea creatures. It has an antenna-like spine with a meat lure attached to it, which it uses to lure its prey closer. But not only does this fish look scary, its method of reproduction is also extraordinarily creepy. The males bite into the female's stomach, attach themselves, and weaken one organ at a time until they merge into one organism. However, the black sea devil fish is also a master of camouflage. It can adapt its body to its surroundings, making it almost invisible to its prey. It can also open its mouth enormously, allowing it to swallow even larger prey. Number 11. Meet the wood-eating amphipod. These shrimp-like creatures live at dizzying depths in the Marianas Trench and feed on nothing less than wood. It may sound like a crazy idea, but these crustaceans have adapted to their dark and vast environment and have become experts in finding sunken shipwrecks and other wooden objects. These creepy and transparent shrimp can only grow up to 5 centimeters in size. And while their diet may seem strange, it's a fascinating example of how ocean life has adapted to unexpected circumstances. Director James Cameron, known for such films as Avatar and Terminator, is an avid diver and adventurer who is not afraid of a challenge. During one of his dives, he saw and filmed these amphipods, giving the world a glimpse of these terrifying creatures looking at great depths in our waters. Number 10. Not long ago, a jellyfish was discovered in the Mariana Trench with mouth parts. Researchers managed to find this jellyfish species in other places in the ocean as well. The Stygio medusa, as the jellyfish is called, was captured on camera at a depth of 3,248 feet or 990 meters. If you blinked, you would miss this translucent jellyfish. The arms of this super rare jellyfish can grow more than 33 feet or 10 meters, and the sea creature has only been observed about 100 times. In this video, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute managed to capture the jellyfish from three different angles, while a team of scientists used a remote control vehicle. Number 9. The gulper eel is a terrifying deep-sea creature that lives at great depths and seems to have come straight out of a nightmare. Its mouth is so large that it can swallow prey much larger than itself. These predators have a unique way of stretching their jaws to catch and eat their prey. All of this makes them one of the most feared creatures of the deep sea. These creepy creatures usually stay close to the ground when not hunting and patiently wait for something to eat. Their large mouth can also be used to scare off intruders. While they're not directly dangerous to humans, the idea of coming face to face with such a gigantic mouth that can stretch and swallow almost anything is frightening enough. Seeing these bizarre creatures on the ocean floor can certainly give you the chills. One of the most interesting facts about the gulper eel is that the males of this species can develop into parasites. When they find a female, they bite into her body and become fully absorbed, leaving only a pair of testicles behind to reproduce with the female. This bizarre and frightening reproductive behavior makes the fish even stranger and creepier than it already was. Don't you agree? Number 8. The vampire squid is undoubtedly one of the most terrifying creatures in the deep waters of the Marianas Trench. With its dark color and red eyes, it looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. However, the squid doesn't have a preference for drinking blood. It's the appearance that gives it its name. It was discovered during expeditions at depths ranging from 250 to 6,000 meters deep. The vampire squid is not only scary to look at, but it also has some unique features that makes it one of the most frightening predators in the deep sea. For example, it has tentacles that are equipped with suction cups that are full of small teeth. These tentacles are used to catch and kill prey, preventing them from escaping the grip of the squid. But the vampire squid also has another remarkable feature. It has an incredible ability to change its color and deceive its prey. By adapting to its surroundings, it can make itself almost invisible, waiting to strike at the right moment. It's no wonder scientists are so fascinated by the creature, but at the same time, it's understandable that people who see this squid for the first time shiver with fear. Number 7. If you thought that the Mariana Trench, the deepest point of the ocean, located at a depth of more than 7 miles or 11,000 meters, is a lifeless pit of darkness and nothingness, you're dead wrong. In fact, there's evidence that the destructive influence of man has also reached that depth, and it's very alarming. For it was at the deepest point that a plastic bag was found. Considering that the Mariana Trench is virtually uninhabitable except for a few species of octopus, jellyfish, and coral, the presence of the plastic bag is quite alarming. 
Also considering that the Mariana Trench is home to more different life forms than we can technically examine, and man managing to pollute even this place is obviously not good for marine life and nature. Number 6. Brittle stars are echinoderms, closely related to starfish. They live in the depths of the Mariana Trench and have thin, fragile limbs that can easily break off. Despite their fragile nature, they have the ability to shed their limbs and regenerate them, allowing them to defend themselves against predators. Other species of brittle star are even poisonous and can poison their attackers. This sea creature is a fascinating example of life in the deep sea, where conditions are extreme. They live at depths where other creatures can survive. They live at depths where few other creatures can survive in cold, dark, and foodless environments. Yet they have a thriving population and are important residents of this unknown deep sea world. Although the sea creatures may not look scary at first glance, the idea that it can shed its limbs, poison, and regenerate itself is quite creepy. It's a reminder of the unpredictability and mystery of the deep sea and the fascinating but sometimes frightening creatures that live within it. Number 5. The deep sea dragonfish is one of the most popular and frightening deep sea fish in the Mariana Trench. With its bioluminescence and fish rod-like organ, it lowers its prey into the darkness of the deep sea. The luminous red growing out of its forehead makes it almost invisible to its prey, until it's too late. The dragonfish can also extend its jaw and swallow its prey whole, and its fangs ensure that there's no escape. But it's not just the way that the dragonfish hunts that makes it so scary. Its appearance seems as if it came straight out of a nightmare, with large, hollow eyes and a sinister look. In addition to its frightening appearance and hunting method, the dragonfish has another disturbing feature. It can inflate its fins and anchor itself into the ocean floor to protect itself against attacks. This makes it almost impossible to move and can be dangerous if you ever get too close as a diver. Number 4. There's rumors of a predatory species that devours its victims alive at a depth of 8,860 feet or 2,700 meters. The ping pong tree sponge, yep, that's actually the name of the creature, lives in the Mariana Trench. You may think the name is funny, but make no mistake about this sea creature. As their prey, the animals in the ocean tremble in fear of this ping pong tree sponge. This slender and stem-like sponge, which takes its name from its appearance, is a cunning predator. Those ping pongs you're looking at are equipped with hook-like extensions. Any prey accidentally caught in its grasp is trapped and not easily released. With prey caught in its claws, the sponge devours them while they're still alive, and that while it's only 20 inches or 50 centimeters tall. Number 3. The Dumbo octopus may look cute to some people, but it's a ghost of the ocean, silently drifting through the water. It lives at extreme depths of 3,000 to 4,000 meters, which is deeper than the highest mountain peaks on Earth. Its transparent bell-shaped body looks alien, and it has a pair of fins that resemble elephant ears, which it uses to move. This is one of the reasons why the Dumbo octopus is named after the famous Disney character, Dumbo the Elephant. Thanks to its gelatinous body, it can withstand the high pressure of the deep sea environment. They are rarely seen by humans and are usually studied through specimens caught by deep sea research ships. Although it poses no threat to humans, the idea of encountering such an alien-like creature can be very creepy, don't you think? Number 2. The Megalodon is a prehistoric shark from the time of the dinosaurs, believed to have gone extinct about 50 million years ago. Or did it? Some people believe that the Megalodon is still hiding somewhere in the depths of the ocean. There's even an article circulating that claims the Megalodon was captured on camera somewhere in the Mariana Trench. Fossils show that these sharks have made areas near the coast their hunting grounds. The Megalodon's diet consists of large whales and other shark species. Do you think it's possible that the Megalodon is still swimming around somewhere in a remote area of the Mariana Trench, or is it extinct? Let's hope for the second option, because a shark of this size was considered the king of the ocean for a reason. Number 1. The Fang Tooth is a true freak of nature and belongs to the ray finned fish. Everything about this fish is scary, but its sharp teeth stand out. It's said to hunt its prey with a frightening growl and lives at extreme depths where few other creatures can survive. Although it's quite small, about 15 centimeters long, it's a pretty fierce sea creature. It's a carnivore and hunts other deep sea creatures, such as squids and crustaceans. Its eyes are large, it has an excellent sense of smell, and it has the ability to detect electrical fields. What makes it even more interesting is that it can survive for up to five weeks without food, thanks to its slow metabolism. It's not exactly known why the fang tooth is so named, but it's likely because of its large, razor-sharp teeth that protrude from its jaw. 
These teeth are the largest in proportion to its body of all fish in the ocean. Which deep sea creature do you find the most terrifying? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.